Today, Kevin and I are going to review Spam. We have never reviewed Spam for the channel, and I haven't had it in years. And so, I mean, like, over 20 years at least. And so, I thought this would be a fun review to do because they've come out with so many flavors. I actually think Spam comes in like 18 different flavors. Uh, these are the only ones that we get in our area. I'm thinking they might have a lower salt... I think there's one with lower salt as well, but that's it. We only have the original, the hickory smoke, and uh, the bacon, but now the flavors are just, it's amazing how many flavors of Spam they have. If you have different ones in your area, let us know which ones you get. I was going to order some different ones on um, Amazon, but it was just going to be way too expensive, uh, so I'm just reviewing what we can. So the bacon... We found at Meyer and it was three nineteen, but the other two we found at Walmart and it was two ninety two. So cheaper at Walmart if you can get it. It is a uh, pork with ham is what it is, and they have uh, salt and water in it. So we, um, when I was growing up, we always had it fried. And so that is how we're going to be eating it in this review is we're going to have it uh, fried. So you just open your can and take it out. There we go. It just took a hot second. So that is the original. Let's go ahead and open the other two just so we can see if they look any different. That does not look any different, but I can tell you it does smell different. That's the hickory, and then this is the bacon. So there we go. So now I'm going to take the original. And I'm just going to slice it like this. And I'm going to, for this video, I'm just going to fry one of each one so we can try it. And then I'll fry the, uh, I'll fry the rest uh, later. Um, but just for the video's sake, I'm not going to have you uh, wait until I fry the whole pan. So there's the hickory. And I'm going to wipe my knife off. And then the bacon. And so, um, I'll read you whatever information I can get off the can in a little bit. But I'm going to uh, fry these. I'll show you that in just a second. These have been frying for just a, a few minutes. And I'm just going to flip them over now. And you see how that gets a little, um, little brown on the other side? You can get it as brown as you want. Usually, that's... I, I like it this brown, at least this brown, if not even darker. Uh, so I might uh, flip them over again and let them fry some more. Uh, but once I get this, the other side looking at least like this, then we'll give it a try. So we have our fried spam here. And if you eat it a different way, you can let us know how you eat it. And like I said, growing up, we always had it fried. Mom used to put a little thin dusting of flour on it. Oh, okay. And fried it in oil. You don't need to do that. No, you don't have to. That's how my mom And you it. definitely don't need to fry it in oil. But I understand she made it more like a pork chop or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what she did. You just did. got a little breading on the outside. But you don't need any oil no, in your pan, you no butter, no nothing. No, it has enough oil in it. But this <laughs> is known, the Spam is known as like the meat of Hawaii, isn't it? I mean, apparently, uh, if you live in, in Hawaii, you eat a lot. Of, it's like supposed to be like the steak of Hawaii or something like that is what I've heard. Um, so, I think that's pretty cool. And I bet you, if you live in Hawaii, I bet you get every single flavor there is. Uh, whereas we get three. Three or four if you're talking about the low sodium. But I didn't figure there was any need to buy. Why would I buy low sodium? Okay, so... These slices, it says two ounces, 56 grams is 180 calories. That's for all three of them across the board. So what we did after we fried it, before we came here to the table, I wanted to see how much each one of these was. The first one I cut thinner, the original I cut thinner. So it was only, it ends up being like 70 something calories. Like 75, 76. For like one that. slice. And about how much were the other ones? Like right around 100. 
a hundred a piece. But, um, but they're not very big slices, just to let you know. Yes. So, yeah. Not a low calorie food. No, exactly. <laughs> so I believe this first one should be the original. I, I'm hoping that this That looks thinner then. I know. I think that's your original. You think that's my original? I'm gonna try. try that. You gonna try it? Yeah, I wanted to see if this was the bacon one or not. I haven't had spam in so long that it's going to be hard for me to tell until I do try the other two, honestly. Because it just tastes, um, if, if it's supposed to have something, I mean, oh. it, it feels, it has a greasy feel, so I can't imagine frying that in oil. Oh. It has a very greasy. That's the last one's definitely the bacon one. Well, I didn't get a bacon flavor. I got a little smoky yeah. flavor, but not bacon. The original um, kind of reminds you of bologna a little bit. A little bit. The spices are a little different, but that's definitely the original. You know what? I like the original more. I do too. <laughs> yeah, I really do. Let's, let's try the middle one. So the middle one should be the smoke. The middle one, definitely the hickory. There's a very um, distinct mm. difference wow. in that. I don't like it. You don't like it at all. It's too uh, fake smoky. Yes, it take. I don't. I don't uh, dislike it at all. But it does have a uh, a smoky flavor to it. Yeah, I don't. I don't dislike that. I don't mm. think there's anything wrong with that. I like the original. Uh, but uh, that that. Um, bacon one it had that little bit of a smoke flavor to it but it wasn't uh, i didn't think it was distinct enough a distinct enough difference to buy that for a bacon flavor it tastes quite a bit different than the original one though this one yeah i mean a lot different i don't know that it's necessarily i mean there might be some bacony kind of flavor there but it's really just has a different flavor Yes, the first one is just so much better. Yeah, the I, I just like the original. You know? Yeah, the original. I also like them thin like that. I do too. Very, very thin. I like it thin, and honestly, I, I like it crisper than what I even got it. Because when we would make them as a kid, it almost would end up looking not yeah, quite almost, like mm -hmm. jerky, but it was yeah. really, really, very really dark. Yeah, yes. that's how I always did it too. So thin, like slices of bacon. Uh, and very very dark. So if if someone has never had spam, how would you describe that flavor to them? Um, it's if you ever had bologna, it's similar. Between it, like ham and, and bologna. bologna, yeah, yes. it's similar to that. It, like I said, it doesn't I have heard. the same spices as bologna because bologna has very just specific spices. It seems like, but it reminds you of bologna a little bit. And I the agree. texture. The texture. The texture is. To me, it's like it's between similar ham to bologna, bologna too. It's yeah. a little looser than bologna. Bologna is really packed in, mm -hmm. whereas this is a little looser. Mm -hmm. um, any processed meat, if you ever had any kind of processed meat product, then you probably are familiar with that, right. that texture. So, I like the texture of spam. I don't. I don't. Never mind the texture of spam. Some people have issues with it. I've never had an issue with it. See, I mean, it's no worse than a canned ham. No, no, and we we've. Uh, uh, I grew up eating canned ham, uh, and this is made by uh, Hormel. I, I believe we have a video on the channel of us preparing a canned ham, one of the big ones, like you see in the movie, uh, the Christmas movie, yeah. Um, yeah. Christmas, Christmas the with cranks. the Cranks. We prepared one of those, and I'm thinking that may have been a Hormel brand ham. I'm not sure, but anyway, yeah, we grew up eating those, and so for us, this is uh, this is a lot like that, mm -hmm. but now I don't. Th even though the bacon is a little different, I just wouldn't buy it because I don't think it tastes like bacon. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I do think the hickory does have a smoke flavor. Yeah, it's almost too much smoke for me. That's yeah, and I, I didn't really mind do. it, but I, I do like the original more than any of these. Yeah. But now I know they have like, I'm thinking they have like a chipotle. I and bet you like a jalapeno would be good. A little yes. spice in there. And I don't know why we don't get any of those around us. I think that would be I think really they just good. wouldn't sell. I'd, I'd say they just don't sell enough of this to justify bringing more flavors. Probably. Uh, but I do, it says on the back, wake up your eggs and so you could put dice this and put that in scrambled eggs i think that sounds good this says uh, add bold flavor spam hickory smoke in a hearty sandwich and it has a picture of a breakfast sandwich on the back of the yeah, tin and the back of this one just has a regular sandwich yeah with like uh, on toast yeah. um it says not blt spam it so instead of putting, yeah, instead of putting bacon on your on your sandwich, you can put spam on your sandwich. So I do think that would be a great way to eat it. So I would love to hear all the different ways that you eat your spam. Do you eat it in eggs or on sandwiches or how do you eat it? So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.